Hi everyone, and welcome back for stage 1-4 of Kitakaris. And here we go with our first uh, fortress stage. Or labyrinth, or maze, however you want to say it. But basically, you can't see it yet, but this stage is a series of interconnected one-screen rooms that will be connected by ladders up at the top, or doors to the left, or letters up at the top or bottom, or doors to the left and right, and each room has its own little quirks. There are shops in here, there are healing springs in here, and of course, enemies. Hmm. And in one very special room, there will be a boss. There will also be, as you will find out later, statues, which you can break open with the hammer, that will hold, uh, that will hold little uh, troops, troopers, that will join you for the final battle. Now the troopers aren't all that great, they're kind of weak and die in one hit, but you can get a whole bunch of them for each stage boss that will help you out some. And for now, let's walk around and explore. You don't want to explore, you don't want to stick around in some places too deeply. Now, let's not get hit too hard. So you can't squat through these uh, these places like you could the ones uh, in the uh, I can't talk in the scrolling stages. How you'd squat through those and fall to the bottom. What you see over here, this little scroll-looking thing is a map. Now, it's not quite the same uh, map, you know, you'd expect from Osea Zelda or something similar to that. But I get a good spot to sit around for a minute. And you gotta be careful. Enemies will beat on you a little bit. But, I think if I recall correctly, yeah. Here's this. Let's not get eaten by the snakes, because we are just about dead. Over here is a shop. Now the thing about him is he will continue to come back, but for now let's do one thing. Give him the old I guess I can't win speech, and refill our life one or refill our life a measure. And now, ooh, look at that—a pencil and a torch. The pencil and the torch are the other two parts of the map. But you see the map is now there on our screen, now that we collected it. The torch... We jump up. You notice how we get a blinking spot there. That tells us exactly where we are on the map. He comes back. We don't need any of that. But I will take another mallet. I want him to bring back the uh, pencil. Because with the pencil, it'll uh, mark down pa it'll mark down which rooms you've already been in. Which is not entirely necessary if you know the place, but it is nice. It's really nice if you're not really sure about things. And the pencil is now 109. We can afford. But for now, what I need to do... And I'll show you. It'll it'll all can show you better later in a second. Let's go into the next room and I can show you. Now you see you walk into that room and bam, he marks it down on his map. He just didn't mark it down in the room you get the pencil from unless you walk back in there. But now what we need to do, you notice that guy had bottles of uh, water for sale. 
Well, those bottles of water are exactly what we want to stock up on. I would say stock up on feathers, but he doesn't sell them. And it's not important now, it's important later. But, unfortunately, you can't stock up on feathers like you can the, uh, the bottles. At least not here. You might be able to do it in another shop. I'm not sure, though. But there is another shop in here, but it's not exactly one you want to uh, mess around too much in. Because it's right underneath a uh, room with the eggplant wizards. Eggpla eggplant wizards. Which you will see in great detail later. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the room right before this to grind hearts, buy bottles of f water, and when I come back I will have eight bottles of water and a full life bar for the rest of this exploration, which will be really nice, folks. So, I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, full stores. And probably a bunch of mallets, too. I may buy a bunch of those, too. Who knows? We will see, folks. But for now, pausing video. Be back in a second. Oh yeah, I gotta resume the video real quick here, folks, to show you the mallets and what they do. You see that little statue there? Well, by pressing the select button, it turns into a hammer, and it makes this funny little sound. And since I'm going to be getting more of these, First, hammer, break statue. Little guy goes off. You'll see him later. But for now, watch. Two hammer hits will take out one of those. But these hammers are not expensive, nor all that readily available. So, you know, stick with the bow and arrow. That's all that is. Press select. You saw the little extra indicator down there for arrow. Yeah, that's all it means. It just says, hey, what do I have equipped? arrow or hammer. Well, anyway, now that I've done that, I will go back to grinding and see you folks in a while. Now, now, and I am back. If you notice, uh, score is much higher. Our hearts are still low, but that's because I just finished buying everything. We have 79 mallets and 8, and our barrel has 8, which means we have 8 bottles of life. We. Oops, need to do one more thing real quick. Not quite done, am I? Darn it. Hang on, folks. Sorry, had to do something off screen there real quick. Make sure I wasn't walking into a hornet's nest. But you'll notice several other things. I haven't explained that credit card yet, and I will later. Don't worry about it. But still, only two feathers. Wish I had more. But unfortunately, they don't sell them in the shop I was just uh, spending a whole lot of money in. But, yeah, I ground enough hearts to purchase everything I need. So from here on, no more buying. At least here. Might have to buy later. But, you know, in due time, in due time. For now, let us explore, shall we? Because we kind of have to get around, don't we? Let's see what's down here. Oh, well, look at that. A statue. See, they aren't incredibly helpful, but I'm still going to free all the troops. And I'm also going to try to avoid picking up every heart, because later on, I think stage 2-2, two, two, to be exact, if you enter the stage with a lot of hearts, you're going to miss a skill power-up. Unfortunately, that's just the way it works. And I have more than enough score to uh, hit maximum health as soon as I end exit this stage. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. Oh, 
There's a room up here I need to show you. Ouch. Well, with before that I was about to say, you also notice I have full life. Hey, this room is a hospital. Um, if you get hit by the eggplant wizard's eggplant, and thus turned into one, you return here, and they remove the curse off of you. Okay, that's all we can do here, but now, oh, two more statues. So, we'll wait for them to go by.